Good morning, students. I'm Dr. Najavin Fatima from Sag Institute of Research and Technology. I'm taking cathode ray oscilloscope. These are the outline of this lecture. Uh, oscilloscope, what is an oscilloscope? How an oscilloscope works? Its basic parts and operation. Electrostatic focusing. Uh, material used for the screen. Probes. Types of the oscilloscope and application of oscilloscope. So uh, this is the cathode ray tube. The heart of the CRO is cathode ray tube. Uh, you see this uh, the cylindrical uh, is the cathode inside of this filament is present. This is the pre-accelerating anode. This is focusing anode. This is accelerating anode. And this is Y plate. That is vertical deflection plate. This is X plate. That is horizontal deflection plate. This cathode and accelerating anodes are comes under the electron gun assembly and Y plate and X plate comes under the deflection system. system. All this put in a glass tube and this glass tube is evacuated. So vacuum glass tube is taken to place all these things and this is the screen of the CRO. When the cathode is heated up with the help of this heating element, uh, the cathode start emitting the electrons and moving towards the anode. Since the uh, cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the power supply, so electrons are repelling from here and the positive terminal of the supply is connected to the accelerating anode. So anode, these anodes are attracting the electrons. So electrons start moving in this direction. The electrons, uh, uh, when electron moves inside of this the deflection plate the electron beam start deflecting due to the field present at y plate and deflection plates so electron beam will be moving and uh, going to strike uh, on the screen of the uh, cro this is screen is having this screen is having a coating of phosphor alloy phosphor material now next uh, see the explanation here the cathodes are emitting the electrons these uh, circles so these circles are electron actually considered as electrons so these electrons are moving through the aperture of the grid then this uh, electrons a beam of electron moves through the first anode this anode is connected to the uh, positive potential of the supply so electrons are attracted towards this side now next, the electrons will be moved towards the second anode, that is the accelerating anode. And finally, the electrons will uh, land on the screen of the CRO. So uh, this is the complete diagram. You see here the cathode is emitting the electrons. These electrons are scattered and repelled by the cathode and moving towards the anode. And uh, then it lands on the screen of the CRT. So in this manner, the signal is displayed on the CRT. Now, uh, this is the uh, diagram of CRT, the uh, cathode, anode, deflection plates, and the screen of the CRO. The cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the supply. This anode is connected to the positive terminal of the supply the deflect on the deflection plates. The input signal and the time date signals are coming. So, when an electron passes through this, this is going to deflect and going to uh, strike on the phosphor screen of the CRO and CRO, this screen will display the waveform, input waveform. Now the screen of the uh, CRT, the screen material for the CRT, the screen material is phosphor, the phosphor uh, is coated on the screen of the CRO. You can see here with a, uh, uh, a pic of the CRO, here you can see this, uh, this is showing the screen on which the signal is displayed. So the phosphor is coated actually on the glass uh, screen. Uh, this, uh, uh, this phosphor is having the property of fluorescence. That is the property of the material to emit the light when it is stimulated by the radiation. This is called fluorescence. The fluorescent material is actually the phosphor and it is having the property to continue emitting light even after the source of the excitation is over. This is called phosphorescence effect or phosphorescence property. This property of phosphor is used for the screen of the CRO. So because of this, when input is uh, uh, removed from the CRO, but uh, this CRO is going to display the waveform for uh, some seconds, some mi microseconds. Now the graticos, 
what do you mean by graticules the graticules is actually the division of the uh, screen into the uh, parts or you can say these are the divisions of the screen the screen is divided into the scale so that the measurement can be possible so the easy measurement can be possible the graticule is uh, uh, a part of the visual display to facilitate the measurements so with the help of these graticules the measurement can be done easily uh, the complete screen is divided into parts uh, in, or into the divisions this is one division the second division third division and so on so this one division is of one centimeter and this one centimeter is again divided into five parts so these five parts are showing 0 0.2 0 0.2 centimeters so uh, similarly uh, on the horizontal axis and similarly on the vertical axis so this is the screen of the CRO so yeah you can see here this is screen a screen is divided into the parts or the division this is uh, this is one division it is equal to of one centimeter this is another division and so on and uh, on this divisions the subdivisions are also done you can see here the subdivisions are also present here so these are the graticles graticles are used to measure uh, to do the measurements easily types of the graticules external graticule and internal graticules the scale marked from outside so uh, this is called external graticule and it removes a parallax error and the scale marked from inside of the screen so this is called internal graticule the internal graticule also removes the parallax error error on next slide now the probes, probes are the, you can see here, the, this is the probe. This uh, probe is uh, nothing but the cable and it is used to connect to the CRO to transmit a signal. So it is, uh, it is used as the feeding line, uh, feeding the signal to the CRO. So there are two types of probes, passive probes and active probes. In passive probes, the passive elements are connected like resistance, inductor, capacitors are connected here. So in the passive in the probes, only the passive elements are included. In active probes, the second type is active probe. Active probe has active components like diode, transistors. So this such type of probe is called active probe. So you can see here, this is the active probe and this is passive probe. So with the help of these probes, the signal is given to the CRO uh, from function generator or from some circuit. Now these are the applications of the oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is used for the measurement of DC or AC voltage or for the amplitude measurement uh, the oscilloscope is using. For the measurement of time period and indirect measurement of the frequency can be done with the help of the oscilloscope. The pulse width can also be measured with this. Uh, pulse rise time and fall time can also be measured. The phase difference between the two signals can be measured if it is given to the CRO simultaneously. Now next is the electrostatic focusing system or a CRT. Inside of the cathode ray tube, the electrons are focused towards the center of the CRT. So when the this uh, this is the cathode, this is pre-accelerating anode. This is focusing anode. This is accelerating anode. This is a screen. So the, this pre-accelerating anode is connected to the uh, potentiometer. So the high voltage supply is connected here. So the potential across this resistance, this resistance, and this resistance. This much potential is provided to the pre-accelerating anode as well as to the accelerating anode. So pre-accelerating anode and accelerating anodes are connected to the same, same potential and focusing anode is connected on lower potential side. So uh, the cathode emits the electron and start moving towards the aperture and when it enters to the, towards the pre-accelerating anode, since this pre-accelerating anode is having more potential, positive, more positive potential, so electrons are attracted, attracted towards this and uh, they are moving uh, but when they move towards the screen these electrons get scattered 
uh, and focusing anode is having low potential so the electrons are not uh, very much uh, concise towards the center of the CRO but when these electrons reach to the accelerating anode now since the accelerating anode is connected to the high potential as compared to the focusing anode so most of the electron are attracted towards this and most of the electrons are concise at the center of the tube and in so these uh, concised uh, these accumulated electron will be moving towards the center of the screen so in this manner the pre accelerating uh, focusing and accelerating anode provide the electrostatic focusing to move the electron towards the center of the screen so this is called electrostatic focusing system now there are two types of uh, focusing system magnet uh, there are two types of def uh, deflection system magnetic deflection system and electrostatic deflection system in, in magnetic deflection system the deflection is done for a very short period of time it is employed in flow frequency region but this consumes more power there is electrostatic deflection uh, this deflect the electron beam for a long period this employed in high frequency region and also it consumes less power so that electrostatic deflection can be used in the cr now next uh, i want to talk about the types of the oscilloscope analog oscilloscope and digital oscilloscope the analog oscilloscope techniques is used to create the pattern on the display now like you can see here this is the analog CRO now this digital oscilloscope first converts the signal into digital format and then process it so the this pic is showing the digital oscilloscope so uh, the sine wave square wave or any type of wave you can display on this but the digital oscilloscope is also having the memory it stores the signal and uh, uh, for the calculation purpose when cursor moves on any point of the waveform the uh, uh, digital oscilloscope gives the value in digital form whereas in the analog oscilloscope uh, we have to do the measurements it will not be available uh, on the screen but in the digital oscilloscope the values or the measurements are readily available now the advantages like analog oscilloscope is less expensive and it is having good level of performance the digital oscilloscope it is having display storage so whatever the signal is displayed it can be stored this is having high accuracy brighter display and self calibration so different types of digital oscilloscope uh, digital storage oscilloscope digital phosphor oscilloscope digital sampling oscilloscope mixed domain oscilloscope mixed signal oscilloscope so these are the types of the digital oscilloscope so these are the books uh, david a bell electronic instrumentation and measurements uh, by david a bell electronic instrumentation and measurements by william d cooper electronic instrumentation by h s kelsey so you can refer these books uh, for the cr thank you friends thank you so much see you again bye